The last 20 to 30 minutes before a bride walks down the aisle can produce some of the best emotional images of the wedding day. Probably one of my favorite times of the day and some of my favorite images come out of these moments. Basically all I do is I go and hang out with the bride and her bridesmaids prior to the wedding. Once the ceremony starts, again, if you're working with a second shooter that you know and confident, we both sort of know our roles. One of us kind of tries to shoot from either side of the aisle. We're shooting with long lenses. We're shooting available light. Ahead of time, I've talked to whoever's in charge of the church. I've asked them what their rules are. I want them to know that I'm going to respect them. I've had church ladies hug me because I've walked up and I've said, I'm Robert, I'm the photographer. I wanted to know what your rules are. And because I've done that, she's let me break rules too. Some of the things that I'm looking for during the ceremony, of course, are just fun, laughter, emotional moments. Yes, you need to shoot all the basic things. But I also try to do other things and get images, uh, reactions of parents, bridesmaids, people watching. Depending on the type of religion and, and the service, you know, it's your job to know the things that are gonna happen in that ceremony. If you have the job, then you'd rather do it right than not. So it's okay to ask so that you make sure that you cover those things and you not have to hear about it from someone later. Also look for other little details. Every ceremony is going to be different, but I try to shoot anybody that's speaking that's not the bride and group, people that sing, people that are playing, anything that happens at a ceremony that's unusual, shoot it. You need to tell that story. In this particular ceremony, I did something that I have never done in my entire life, and that is I happen to be able to shoot this wedding with the new Sony A9, available light at 20 frames a second. I generally only do this at an outdoor ceremony, so I realized at one point, like, wow, I could use this one time during the day to shoot recessional. So what I did in this situation is I set the ISO to 25,600. I believe I was shooting with a 24 to 70 2.8 G Master lens at about a 1 25th of a second. I wanted it a little faster than a 60th because when people move, you might get a little blur. And at 2.8 wide open, and then back down the aisle with the couple and just let it shoot. What I ended up with was 118 frames that I put together in a little video and it looks like stop motion a little bit. So you like just inside the door face each other. Meant to be. Shooting fast like that during a recessional really produces more usable images. Open it up, look at the sky. Perfect. In this situation, I had more than 20 plus images that I could give the bride and group. Now I think it's a little too much, but you're gonna get more opportunities to get better recessional photos. And that's usually, you know, like one of the money shots. Good little smile. 